Hello everyone, welcome back to this online class. Today we are going to look at uh, how to find the integral surface of uh, symmetric differential equations uh, given by dx over y minus xz is equal to dy over x plus yz, which is equal to dz over x squared plus y squared. And uh, we require that this surface must contain the straight lines x is equal to 2y and uh, z is equal to 0. So remember, for us to be able to find the required surface, we must first of all find two unique solutions, which we are calling integral curves. So we'll write case one. And I told you that uh, to be able to evaluate such kind of symmetric differential equations, you use trial and error method, or what we are calling the method of intuition. So the first case, the first case, if you look at our uh, differential equations, you realize that if I take x dx, x dx minus y dy, minus y dy, so what will we have in the denominator? In the denominator, we are going to have this, uh, x multiplying, <coughs> excuse me, y minus xz, then negative y multiplying x plus yz. This one should be equal to dz over x squared plus y squared. And so we need to simplify this. Uh, on the left hand side, let's open the bracket on the left hand side. So we'll have x dx minus y dy. Everything over, this will give us xy minus x squared z minus another xy, then minus y squared z. So this should be equal to dz over x squared plus y squared. Look at left hand side denominator, xy will cancel with this other xy. So we'll have negative x squared z minus y squared z. And you see negative z is common. So that can be factored out to get this. So you can just say or x dx minus y dy. When you factor out negative z, you get this negative z into x squared plus y squared. This one is equals to dz over x squared plus y squared. So again, you realize that x squared plus y squared will cancel so that our equation can now be written as x dx minus y dy over negative z is equals to dz, of which if I cross multiply, I'm going to get this, x dx minus y dy is equals to negative z dz. Or I can also take negative z uh, dz to the left hand side or x dx minus y dy plus z dz. This one should be equal to zero. So now it is easy to integrate. So just integrate each term. Introduce integrals. When we integrate this, we are going to get x squared over two minus y squared over two plus z squared over two. That should give us a constant C1 over two. And so if I multiply by two, I can get rid of those two. So you can just write or x squared minus y squared plus z squared is equals to C1. So this is the first integral.
curve. Now, let me bracket it. This is the first integral curve. So we need to find another integral curve. I will call it uh, case two. So let me write case two. In case two, again, look at our given uh, differential equations. Uh, if you realize that if I take y dx plus x dy, what will I get? So I'm going to get this. Let me write it. Uh, now I want to take uh, y dx plus x dy. What happens to the denominator? It will be y times uh, y minus xz. We're adding this to x times x plus y, z. Now equate this to dz over x squared plus y squared. If I open uh, the bracket that's on the left-hand side, I am going to get this. Let me use a different color. I want to get y dx plus x dy everything over y squared minus x y z plus x squared plus x y z this should be equal to dz over x squared plus y squared now if you look at uh, the left hand side denominator you realize that x y z will cancel with this positive, the negative and positive, those will cancel. So that uh, what you remain with is y dx plus x dy, everything over y squared plus x squared is equals to so that should be equal to dz over dz, let me write that, dz over x squared plus y squared. So again, the denominator will cancel, the all of this will cancel with this, so that uh, we have y dx plus x dy is equals to dz. Uh, and if you look at uh, the left-hand side, this left hand side can be written as, let me use a different color, derivative of xy is equals to derivative of z. Now, if you integrate, we are going to get xy is equals to z plus a constant c2. Or, or if I make c2 the subject, or xy minus z is equals to c2. So this is another uh, integral curve. We have two of them. The first one, the one we got in case one, and another one is what you have found in case two. So those are the two unique solutions that I was talking about that you must find for you to be able to find the integral surface. So how do you now find the integral surface? So this is what you're going to do. So you can say therefore, the, the integral surface, we said is simply phi of uh, C1, C2 should be equal to zero. If I substitute, I'm going to get uh, phi of x squared minus y squared uh, plus z squared comma xy minus z this should give us zero that's the required integral surface but you see phi here is an arbitrary function and we are told the surface that uh, we are interested in must contain the straight line z is equals to zero and x is equals to two y so we have to apply those two constraints to be able to find the particular solution. 
what I've written here is general solution. So this solution can also be written as, if you decide to factor out one of the parameters, let me factor out x squared minus y squared plus z squared, so that this can be written as x squared minus y squared plus z squared is equals to, now let me call it phi one or even f, whichever, whichever function. So it's phi one of x, y, minus z is the same uh, another form of writing that surface so now let's apply the constants we now need to put put z is equals to zero in this equation what are we going to get let me call this equation star so when you put z is zero in equation star we are going to get this we're going to get x squared minus y squared is equals to phi one of x y so we also need to apply the other condition you put x is equals to 2y that means x squared will be equal to 4y squared now in this equation star star if we make that substitution we are going to get this 4y squared minus y squared is equals to phi 1 x times y that will give us 2y squared which you can also write as phi 1 of 2y squared should be equal to 3y squared. If I let if I let 2y squared to be equal to w, this one, I want to convert this to a function of w so that uh, once I know the function of w for any other parameter, then it will be easy for me to get the function of x, y minus z. So you can just say here, that uh, let, let uh, let's call it w be equal to 2y squared. That means if I make y squared the subject, y squared is the same as w over 2. So therefore, we now talk of, if I substitute it here, uh, let, let me just circle this. I want now to replace it here. How will this equation look like? So that equation can now be written as phi one of w is equals to uh, three times y squared, which is w over two. So this is the same as three over two w. So if I know phi one of w to be equal to three over two w, what about when w is now x, y minus z? Now I want to know this, when it is x, y minus z. So now you put W is X, Y minus Z. What will, I, what will I get here? Even here you replace X, Y minus Z. So we can say therefore, therefore, phi one of X, Y minus Z is now equal to three over two times x, y minus z. And you see, we said phi one is an arbitrary function, which if you want to find the particular solution, you must know the uh, expression for that arbitrary function, which we have found to be three over two uh, times x, y minus z, develop that in bracket. So we go back and substitute that into equation star to get our particular solution or the required integral surface. So therefore, or you can say hence, uh, let me pick different color. You can just say, you can pick red here. You can say hence, the required integral surface is 
I substitute what I have found here into equation star so that you're going to get, uh, let me pick another color, maybe blue. So we are going to get x squared minus y squared plus z squared is equals to 3 over 2 times x, y minus z. So that's the, the surface which contains the straight lines. Uh, x is equals to 2y and also z is equals to 0. So what is important here is how to find the integral curves and also how to apply the given constants. So this is our solution. Thank you all for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Professor Francis Okage. Just go to the YouTube search and then type Prof Francis Okage. You'll find me right there. Also, don't forget to like, uh, share, and comment on this video. Bye-bye.